Hello, fellow traitors. I would like to start today off with a quote from Kanye West. Ready? Listen up. This is how I would describe trading, okay? Um, without further ado, trading by TJR featuring Kanye West on the lyrics. This game is like boxing. More people end up retarded than rich. This game is... So... How do we feel about that? It's like boxing. There's only going to be one winner. You are the market. And you either end up retarded or rich. Sorry. Somebody had to tell you. And unfortunately for some of you guys, I think you already know what I'm going to say. You're going to be rich. Okay, let's get started. Um, <clears throat> where did we leave off? Just kidding. I literally just filmed the last video. <laughs> yeah, shut up, bitch. You little baby, 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 bitch. How much of my face do I want to see? We'll leave it like this. Just kidding. We'll leave it like this. You guys could literally see, literally see like an ant on the floor over there if we did it like that. <laughs> I love playing this game. Wait. Hedge. Wait. Ready? Imagine you're like a photographer. Capture my headshot. Focus, bro. Where the fuck did I even? Okay, here we go. Shrinker, shrink ray. Harry the octopus took my shrink ray. Is this even working? Damn, I made my shit big as fuck. <clears throat> okay, today we're gonna be talking about. <clears throat> I decided we're gonna split up stop losses and take profits. We'll just discuss discuss stop losses today. And then we'll discuss take profits tomorrow, AKA in like five minutes when I, I think I have lice, bro. Um, but five minutes after, jeez, man. Five minutes after I record this video. I think I need to cut my hair. Raise your hand if I should cut my hair. Bet, manscaped straight to the dome piece next time. I just need my shit like propped up. It gets mad hot, dude. Let's tuck this bitch back. Fuck. Now I can't even hear myself. All right, whatever. Let's just start talking. Okay. Stop losses. Why are they necessary? Because we don't want to end up like the fucking Kanye clip and end up being on the spectrum and losing a bunch of our money. We want to be on the other side of the spectrum, getting paper, getting rich, getting bread, okay? So what do stop losses help us do? They help us stay the fuck out of losing a shit ton of money. We haven't even talked about how we should risk manage. We'll get into that once we talk about actual executions, but wait, have we talked about risk management yet? I don't think so. Give me a second. Uh. 
Mindset shift. How to be good at trading. No, we haven't. Okay. That helps. Okay, so we'll discuss that actually after stop losses and take profit because that's really fucking important. Okay, so stop losses, why are they important? <clears throat> and how are they useful to us? We'll pretty much treat this almost like a confluence ass video, right? So again, why do we use them? Why are they important? We use them so we don't lose a shit ton of money. So we're able to use risk management. And why are they beneficial to us? Because it, it's pretty much marking a specific price where our trade idea is invalidated and we want to exit the market because we were just fucking wrong. So stop losses. Why are they useful? I wouldn't say it helps us, it makes us. Makes us practice risk management. Why do we use them? So we don't lose a shit ton of money. And then, more. Why do, well, this is also on top of that. So we don't lose a shit ton of money and because it identifies a price where our trade idea is invalidated. Invalidated, sorry, our card declined. Okay. They're useful for us because it helps us practice, mis it makes us practice risk management, pretty much forces us, or for the most part, unless you're like fucking full porting, but it makes us practice risk management because it gives us a set and defined area that we're fully going to get out of the market. And then why do we want to use them? Because we don't want to lose a shit ton of money unless you're an idiot and you're on the other side of the spectrum that Kanye talked about. And because it helps identify a price where our trade idea is invalidated. That's why it's useful. That's why we want to apply it. Ready, set, fucking break. Let's go to the next video um, where we can, mm, no, we'll just put it all in one video. I was almost going to blue ball you guys, like literally just, whoa, sorry. I'm not allowed to do that anymore. Um, but literally was just like about to like, uh, my audience is all male. So how am I not supposed to be fruity like trying to explain what blue balling means to you guys? Okay, I just won't do any actions. It's almost like if, okay, why? It's almost like a girl, a jout is like, is like just going like this, right? Just going crazy and then just stops. And is like, wait for tomorrow. That's almost what I did to you guys, but we're gonna keep going. That was like the most useless explanation, but. Anyways, let's get in here. <clears throat> and I'll show more examples of this once we get into strategy creation, fucking day four, I guess. Um, let's go into the, one of the trades that I took. We're here, we can just set up some bullshit. Oh, I don't wanna do NASDAQ. Uh, and S&P looks like poop too. Um, fuck. Let's just use this as an example. No, we're just gonna do drawings for now. Just so, because that's all we need to do right now. We're just gonna show it on drawings. And then when we get into the other strategy creation videos, we can show it on the chart, actually identifying these trade setups. So for the time being, let's go over an example of where we would put our stop losses. There's a couple places where I typically would like to put my stop loss. So <clears throat> again, we need to think about what's the main use of these. I'm burning in this bitch, literally sweating my ass off right now. So say thank you in the comments. Like literally, I wish you guys could feel my chest. It's wet right now, okay? But anyways, let's say we see whatever, our liquidity sweep, break of structure on the lower time frame. We see the third confluence get entered in. Let's say we're on the five minute. Okay, we see a one minute break of structure, boom. 
And let's say we were, we were able to enter off like an order block really close to the liquidity sweep. For me, as long as my take profit, and we'll get into take profits tomorrow, okay? As long as my take profit with my first area that I'm always going to be looking for, for my stop loss is going to be over the liquidity sweep. Why? Because that, that's like without a doubt, like if we're taking our trade off of this liquidity sweep, so we know that the trade idea is completely fucking booth pack. We're on the other side of the spectrum. If it, <clears throat> if price goes above this, this sweep, right? Because then it's not a fucking liquidity sweep because price keeps going fucking higher. Okay. So that's my first area that I would like to put my stop loss above a liquidity sweep. If the risk to reward doesn't make sense for my first take profit, and again, we'll talk about that. So let's say my first take profit is like right here and it doesn't make sense. Cool. What else am I going to look for? Well, within the confluence, I'll either look for, again, this is for bear, bearish <clears throat> bias. I'll look at, we'll talk about bullish bias next. Okay. I'll look for the highs made within the confluence prior to that break of structure to the downside on the lower time frame. Okay. Or I'll just look for the highs made within the confluence that was made. So let's say we make a five minute high right here and we're continuing down cool. And then we find our entry within the one minute time frame right here. Awesome. My stop loss is going to be above those highs. Cool. As long. And again, this makes it a little bit risky because what happens if price goes up here? Is your trade idea invalidated? Well, not completely, sort of, because you thought that price was going to go lower from here and then it ended up wanting to go a little bit higher taking out these highs. But overall, your bias was correct because you were still able to identify the liquidity sweep. So that's where you want to debate with yourself and see, okay, is this worth taking the risk of taking this trade or would I rather just sit this one out based on the risk reward? Okay. So again, that's if your take profit is like right here and you have a horrible risk to reward, but you see a five minute high, you see the break. Okay. And you're like, okay, bet. Now this makes sense because it's a one to one cool gets hit. Yay. We're rich. Not. Boom. Okay. Moving forward. This Norton security shit always asks me to restart my computer. Who do you think I am, bro? Okay. That's mainly where I like to put my stop losses. Either above the liquidity sweep. Again, that's going to be our highest confluence. Like, okay, boom. If the liquidity sweep gets taken out, bet. Like, we're, it's said and fucking done, right? Our trade idea, we're just really shit at this. Because it wasn't a liquidity sweep. And that's what we were basing our whole fucking trade off of. Or we're going to be basing it off of, <clears throat> okay, that confluence area, right? We see the fair value gap, boom, we make like a five minute high. We get our entry somewhere within here. Cool. Another area that I like to put my stop loss. Again, maybe my take profit is like right here. And the stop loss, or let's say it's like fucking here. Okay, and, the, and if in the stop loss doesn't make sense to put it over, or sorry. And the stop loss, if it's going to be above here, it's still an insane risk to reward ratio. But because of that scary ass shit where price could push higher, go to another confluence, and because our risk to reward is so good, we can give our stop loss a little bit of breathing room. So instead of putting it above the high that's made within the confluence, we just put it above the confluence itself because what happens if price wants to just push a little deeper into the confluence and then go lower from there. Still a possibility happens all the time. So those are really like the three, damn bro. Those are really like the three levels of, of stop loss areas that I like to, like to put my stop loss at. First and foremost is going to be above or below the liquidity. Second is going to be the high that's made within the third confluence. Okay, and third is just going to be above the confluence itself, right? If we have a fair value gap, we have a fair value gap, price pushes in there, makes a high, okay, this is a possible spot, and then also above there is a possible spot. 
And again, why is this better? Because we could push higher into the confluence and then go lower. But again, if we push fully past that confluence, the trade idea is essentially bunk because we were trying to take a trade off of this confluence, off of this price range. Cool. And it's going to be the same thing to the upside. So boom, we see the liquidity sweep. Again, the most ideal stop loss is going to be underneath these lows because if price comes down here, boom, we're on the spectrum and we didn't identify this liquidity sweep correctly. Okay, moving forward, if um, we have a little confluence, fucking fair value gap right here. Okay, second area that we can put our stop loss is going to be right within here. Okay, let's say we find our entry right here. We can go ahead and plop our stop loss right there. Take profit, like, boom, break in here. Cool, nice. And then remember, if our first take profit, it gives us a lot of room, right? A really good risk reward. Our last area, if we, if we want to give our trade potential to work, uh, potential breathing room because we're scared about this being a sh like super strong confluence, okay? And price potentially do this, our third area to put our stop loss is just underneath that confluence that we're taking a trade off of because again, if price goes down into this like this and then continues higher, the trade idea wasn't fucking bunk because it still used the, the confluence that we wanted to take a trade off of, right? So there's varying levels of risk to this. This is pretty much like our best bet underneath the liquidity sweep or over the liquidity sweep. Second best bet is going to be underneath or over the confluence. And then third best bet is going to be on the higher low made within the confluence. Cool and cool. Stop losses explained. I'll see you guys in the next one. I appreciate y'all.